Okay, let's make a box and whisker plot in Excel 2016. Thankfully, this is a lot easier than 2013. However, we still have to make some edits to our data. So, what we need is two variables to display, and we need to break one of the variable out by the other categorical variable. Again, box and whisker plots are particularly useful for visualizing categorical variables. Rather than use region, whoops, let me hit accept on that. Rather than use region again, like we did for our bar chart, Let's use uh, occupation, how about? So here's what I want you to do. Sort this data, A to Z by occupation, and we'll start with clerical. I want to see if there's a difference in, uh, let's just pick something, how about income based on what occupation you have. So we're going to have to make a new worksheet, and we'll start with clerical here at the top. Okay, back to our original sheet. Let's copy the income for all of the clerical employees by clicking and dragging until we get, to, there it is, we get to the end of the clerical rows. See how clerical ends right here? Copy that. Sheet one, paste it. Next one after clerical is management. So let's put that in next. Management. Back to this sheet. Grab the income for all the management. I think if I hold down shift and page down a little bit faster, there we go. Back up, right there. Control C, copy it. Control V, paste. Whoops. Our next one is manual. Shift, page down until we get through all the manual. Too far as usual. Having the video recording at the same time adds this delay that makes me screw everything up here. Okay, manual, and then professional. I'll have to fix my spelling. Grab all the incomes for professional. Is that our last one? No, I don't think so. I think there's one more. Yep, skilled manual, but let's keep the rest of professional. Copy, paste. Oops, it's this one. It's a problem. Skilled manual. Grab all of those incomes. Page down. Is that our last one? Yes, it is. Copy. There we go. So this is still two variables, but we have to break it up like this to where we have all of the categories, all the possible values for the categorical variable listed, and then the other variable does need to be numeric, and we list out each of the numeric values underneath each of the categories. So, control A to select all that data. Oops, let me do that again. Go to insert, grab this icon right here, right click, or sorry, click the, the down arrow on the right, select box and whisker plot. Okay, I want to make a couple of quick edits. I want to actually get rid of this horizontal axis. I'm going to deselect primary horizontal and instead I'm going to add a legend. Let's put it um, across the bottom. There we go. Okay, so clerical clearly makes less. Um, the management, management in general, the mean of management seems to be the highest. Although professional, we do get a bunch of outliers here. That's what these represent that are uh, people who make a lot of money but are outside the primary quartile there. Um, skilled manual does better than ma manual, and then uh, manual makes the least. Let's go ahead and change our chart title. Um, we'll call this occupation by income. Wait for my slow Excel respond, and there we go.